the village of Little Kirkbridge, today you have it seen. And we finish now where we began upon the village green. Is he serious? To celebrate your visit and to hope you'll come again, our merry team of Morris men are here to entertain. We got long sword dancing, clog and molly dancing, a Norfolk border dance with sticks, and finally they all put on antlers for something called an Abbot's Bromley horn dance. How many points did you give them? Well, I thought they were rather fun, but I don't think the others were very impressed. Well, the other judges, how are they? Rosemary has hay fever. Samantha, the writer, well, she's completely depressed. Frank Mannion's all right. Although I'm afraid after dinner he disappeared with one of the waiters. Come home. I'll see you tomorrow, Midsummer Mallow. Bye. Oh, would you like to join me? Oh, yes, all right. <sighs> I'm so pleased to meet you. I don't know what's happened to the others. A barman, two large whiskies, please. What are you going to have? Why didn't you tell her? What? Well, Mum, about the murder. Ah, well, I don't really know. It uh, didn't seem to be fair somehow. To her or the village? To both. I don't see how you can be a perfect village when you've got a homicidal maniac running around with a pitchfork. No, oh, maybe that's my point. I didn't want to influence her judgment. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure that it was a homicidal maniac. So who wanted to kill him? Well, quite a few people, actually. He was having an affair with the vet's wife and he was carrying on with someone else's daughter. At the same time? Mm-hmm. And then there were the burglaries. He was breaking into people's houses. Yes, but you don't murder someone just because they burgled you, do you? Ah. Well, as a matter of fact, one of the victims threatened to do exactly that. Edward Allardyce. He said as much to me. If I ever get my hands on the little bastards that did this, I'll kill them. Edward Allardyce? The actor? Yeah, do you know him? Dad, Edward Allardyce did four seasons at the Playhouse. You know who's married to Jane Rochelle? Back in the 60s, she was said to be one of the most beautiful women in the world. She made a lot of films in America. But then she died in a car accident, I think. Is he really living in Midsummer Mallow? Yep. Do you think I could meet him? Oh, he could tell me everything I need to know. Yeah, well, I suppose it'd be all right, but he's still theoretically a suspect in my murder investigation. Come on, Dad. He wouldn't murder a local delinquent. He's a famous actor. Well, maybe not, but someone did. Aren't you ready yet? Five to seven. Gordon, what are these doing here? They need to go in the wash. But this is blood. Yes. Well, why did you put them in the cupboard like that? How did the blood get there? Is it animal blood? Oh, yes. It's animal, all right. Nasty little creature. It's all right now. Put it out of its misery. Now let's go. I don't want to be late. <laughs> 